Good morning, everybody. Another new day. And we got a weasel. It's been a beautiful week. So we've been getting a lot of work done. And I plan to get more done today. So today when I'm filming this, it's Thursday, I believe. All the days are sort of running together, but I believe it's still Thursday. And I leave Sunday. I've made myself available Sunday afternoon. Still have no load yet, but my truck is ready. It's done. The window has been fixed. I've also asked if they could... Uh, do something about that smoke smell in the truck and uh, apparently they have this special product that they can uh, put through the air system and it's supposed to take the smell out of there so that'll help a lot I appreciate that they did that and uh, for today Thursday Friday Saturday now we're gonna be doing some work around the yard here today I'm gonna be trying to get things done around here tomorrow my dad is coming we're gonna install our back door or at least start installing our back door and uh, Saturday we'll finish it up if we need a little bit of extra time can't get it all done in one day I'm hoping we can just get it done one day and then uh, Saturday night we'll just be sort of doing my laundry getting ready getting packed up Sunday morning we'll be loading up and Sunday afternoon we'll be headed to the truck and it's probably gonna be a long trip that we're gone for uh, it's uh, they're probably I have a feeling they're gonna send me out pretty far I'm guessing which is totally cool because I've been home for so so long now that I I need to make some miles I need to make up for this um, it wasn't really my fault, but they, they helped me out a little bit because, uh, the part that they ordered for my truck that was for the window, not the window itself, but like a regulator in the door. I'm not too sure what that is, but they ordered it and FedEx was supposed to deliver the part. Apparently FedEx lost the part. We haven't been having any looting around our region yet. Hopefully it doesn't come. It's ridiculous. But, uh, so I don't think that the part would have been stolen, but, uh, from Portage La Prairie to Winnipeg. It was about a 45 minute drive and somewhere in between there the part was lost by FedEx so uh, uh, they helped me out because it wasn't my fault that that happened so that's okay I get a little bit of extra time off here you know late spring someone's feeling like summer out here already we got a we got a lot of stuff done and today is no different we're gonna get some stuff done so uh, let's get to it we go you gonna help me get stuff done today, man? You help me get stuff done? So the previous owners here used to have goats. Yes, they used to have goats. And this was their goat house in here. Wires running down in here, yikes. This was the goat house. And I wanna tear this thing down. If I don't tear it down, it's gonna fall down itself. So it's, uh, we gotta get this all cleaned up. And all of this long weeds, I want to get these cut down. I can see a blue cord running through there yet. I have to get that out of the way. So my dad has given me this like walk behind heavy duty weed trimmer, which is going to be great because I'm going to use that here. I already used it down by our creek yesterday and uh, get these mowed down lower. And then I can look for any debris or anything in here that would hurt the mower. So I don't want to damage our new mower. One over this stuff here. Uh, that's sort of my project for today. And then over there yet we have uh, some chicken wire that they had up for their goats that I got to take down. Uh, it never ends. And look at this, they got a bale. And there's a bale and it just falls apart. It's like a, it's like a big piece of uh, uh, tender pulled pork you know you you try to pull one you try to move it and it just crumbles so i think i'm going to try to load it into our wheelbarrow and wheel it out of here so that i can mow this area down here <laughs> i don't got a bucket tractor so uh i got a tow rope and a pickup truck seems to be working so far got it dislodged anyway now i just got to figure out where i'm going to pull it to where would you put an old bale <laughs> It's composted pretty much into dirt already. That's why it doesn't want to burn. It's so old. It's probably like a decade old. Uh, maybe we'll like mulch it up and then we'll till it into our garden one of these days. Maybe that'll be a good idea. I think this is freaking out Chevy a little bit. <laughs> He's barking over there in the screen room. Dad, there's something following you. Dad, something's following you. Don't let it get you. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna pull it into this open area here and throw it right over there and spread it out. Out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. 
I don't know what else to do with it. Who needs a pickup when you got these? Britt is at work, if you've been wondering. She's not home right now. That's why I'm out tinkering around in the yard, trying to make this a better place. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, we're making this a much nicer, much nicer yard. And I'm taking advantage of all this extra time I have at home. So this is where the bale was. I got a little bit to clean up here yet. Uh, twine and plastic and everything, but it's it's a lot better already. I'm gonna smooth it out and then uh, Hopefully the grass will grow right away. And this over here, I'm gonna till up. I have to rent a tiller because I don't have one yet. But this section right here from where this edge is here, a rectangle going that way, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be our garden. That's why we're burning all this here. I'm gonna mix it up into the soil and it's gonna be really good for the garden. At least that's the idea anyways. I mean, we'll see what happens. Dad's here. We're gonna start installing that back door. I'm gonna get a good start today and uh, I've already got drywall dust all over me, so you can see we've already started. Looks like we should be able to get it done tomorrow, uh, but we're gonna get a good start on it today anyway. So we got the house in a mess right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the wife is biting her tongue. Here's the door, we got it standing upright. There's the master, making sure we don't screw up. I'm trying to be any, pretending to be one. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't screw up or electrocute ourselves. Yeah. So. Yeah, these kind of old houses, you never know what you're gonna face. You open up the wall, you find live wires where it shouldn't be live wires. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a pretty, and then they got this behind the drywall. This is why we had no problem mounting our TVs or anything. We got this behind our drywall. Solid wood everywhere. But now we gotta find the studs so we can. Oh, that's not quite far enough yet. I thought maybe we could do it up to here. They've had a different window in here at one time or a door. Oh, it, look at that. This has been an opening here at one point, but now we gotta go a little further because the patio door is gonna reach up to here somewhere. Mm-hmm. And got to bring, oh, there's a stud right here. Oh, that's good news. Okay. And we can cut it off right here and then just fill it in with two, you can put the header back in there. And then this has backing on here and it should be able to fit in here. How big is that door again? 80 by 60, 80 by 60. Well, that's right. The opening should be 80 by 60. It's just beneath that. There. Exactly. So right here? Right here. And this is the stud here. So two two so by we, fours. That's right. And we can f fill in behind between there exactly where the head is going to go. And then we don't have to go past this stud. You can leave this stud sitting here. Just get, take these two studs out of here. This one and this one. Okay. That's and good. Then we got to cut all that anyway. Old houses. We have no idea when this house was built, uh, but it was probably before the World Wars. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. Before the war. So, uh, it's been fun. Well, we kept the people safe. Oh, this used to be a school, right? I think, I think so. This used to be a school. Well, they made it strong enough. No one's gonna punch through this wall. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some pretty powerful bang to get through this one. So the time is quarter to 11. Time got away from us because the sky stays bright until 10.30. <laughs> it's just starting to get dark. The northern sky is still light though out there. 
But uh, this is as far as we got. Dad went home, called it a day for today. Tomorrow we will continue. I'm gonna take the drywall off all the way to that window over there yet. And just redo it all, why not? And uh, get this door put in here one way or another. So glad that my dad knows how to do these things. I'm learning, so this is a learning experience for me, installing a new door. And it's kind of an easy one because there's already a window there, so there's already an opening. Just gotta make it a little bigger. And we're gonna do the same thing in our master bedroom, which is also under renovations right now. But this is a long-term renovation back here. This is gonna take a little while longer yet. Uh, I have this room sealed off. Ugh. So, this is our master bedroom. Let me turn this light on here so you guys can see better. So this is, like I've shown you guys before, right? This is where the bed was supposed to go, but our bed doesn't fit in there. And then this was the master ensuite, right in the middle of the room for some reason. Middle of the room. And then this was like a makeup area, like where they put a mirror in there and, you know, the wife can do her makeup or the man can look at how good he looks. I don't know, what do we do with mirrors? You guys are all dusty, excuse me. There you go, is that better? Sorry, it's been dusty this whole time, hasn't it? Anyway, so we're taking this master ensuite and we're moving it behind that wall there. This wall is just, it's gonna stay there, but I'm just gonna replace the two by four so that we don't have this little mess in there. And this wall is gonna come straight through to here and we're putting in a sliding door here and that's the, uh, the bathroom in there. So it'll have an entryway into our hallway here. It'll also have a doorway into the master here. And uh, we're gonna have a walk-in shower over here. A bathtub, a deep bathtub right here. A sink, obviously, and a little bench to sit down on and, you know, put your slippers on. Whatever you want a bench for in the bathroom, it's there for you. Well, for us, it's our house. It's there for us. It's not a lie. And anyway, I was bringing you in here because I'm learning how to do the door on that wall out there because we're doing the same thing here. We're taking this window out and we're putting a sliding door in here. And that leads out to our front porch. So our master bedroom, which our bed will be here, I believe. Or will it be here? I think it'll be here. Yes, here, I think. Pretty much in line with this window that way. And then our closet is gonna be in there where the toilet is. In the sink. And then bed will be here. You'll be able to walk around the bed right here and go slide open the door and go sit out on the porch. Got a lot of things going on, <laughs> a lot of things. And that's not even counting all the stuff I'm doing outside, crying out loud. This is why I'm so tired all the time. Okay, I just have this blanket hanging here just so that it sort of seals off that room a little bit. So any dust that's built up in there while I've been working in there doesn't freely flow out here. It's gonna look nice, I promise, once it's done. Anyways, thanks for watching today, everybody. It's been a day at home. Tomorrow is another day at home. We will be continuing with this project and finishing it, almost. We're not doing the drywall tomorrow. We're getting the door put in and it's sealed tomorrow. Next time I come home, we're gonna do the drywall. Can't do everything at once. Despite what you may think of me. They don't think that, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.